Hey guys, what is up? John here from flyatmikealpha.com. Today we're answering a very important question. How long will the engine run for when you're out of oil? Not smooth. Okay, so we've already run up our engine. We've gotten it hot, 165 degrees on the oil temperature, about 330 some degrees on the cylinder head temps. So it is at operating temperature already. Then we went ahead and we disconnected the oil cooler line. So this line coming directly out of the engine where all that oil would normally flow to the oil cooler has been severed, so to speak, right? It's been disconnected and it comes down here to this valve so we can keep the valve closed. Our engine is still gonna have oil pressure when we first fire up. And we're going to have the oil be able to flow through this vinyl tube over to this bucket once we open up that valve over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to fire up, let it idle for about a minute or so, stabilize, get the temps back up, get the oil kind of flowing around there. And then we're going to open up that valve and that is going to pump out all the oil. It's just as if you have severed an oil line. We're going to see how quickly you lose oil pressure. All right, so how long does it take for all the oil to pump out of the engine? We'll know that. And then once all the oil is pumped out of the engine, we'll see oil pressure drop inside the cockpit. And then we'll see how long this engine will run for after that before the entire engine seizes and is totally destroyed, in which case you would no longer, well, you'd be gliding, but you wouldn't be producing any power to go anywhere else. So how long do you have from the point of losing oil pressure to the point of a total engine failure? That is what we're going to find out right now. Good. All right, we've got 92 degrees on the oil temp. We're gonna go over to oil pressure, 67 PSI. Let's go ahead and open up that valve and see how quickly this thing drains all of its oil out. We've got a little over six quarts in the sump right now, about six and a half quarts, normal running. Uh, oh, there goes the pressure. We see down to 42. Oh, and we can see that thing is running out pretty quick. We're gonna go ahead and increase RPM here and see how long we can keep this engine running. Oil pressures, 19, 18, 17, 15. Wow, it is dropping off there. Eight, six, 12. Not much in the way of oil pressure anymore. Look at a good RPM. Four pounds of pressure. Not really seeing any alarm here, right? We just see low oil pressure, but we don't see any sort of alarm flashing at us. We have no alarm anywhere in the cockpit warning us that hey, you're out of oil, and it looks like that is really just pumping air right now. So I'm guessing that, uh, yeah, the sump is totally out of oil. We're down to one pound of pressure, and uh, you would probably be in big trouble right now. We can see we're slowly losing some RPM there, 2,100 RPM. And pretty stable there at 2,100. Maybe picking up a little bit of power here as our cylinders get a little warm again. Remember, we had pre-warmed up the cylinders, but things do cool down while it's sitting here. So we can see that maybe as the engines get a little warmer, it's starting to make more power, actually. We've got good fuel pressure there. Alternator's working beautifully. Almost out of gas. That's all right. And we can see just the tiniest bits of little gulps of oil being shot out of there. The last little bit's oil, but obviously zero pounds of pressure here, zero PSI. No oil pressure. Oil temp has fallen pretty low here. 99, it's not really reading that accurately, obviously. Oil temperature is rising though. Oil pressure is zero, oil temperature is coming up. Remember our oil temperature, initially we had warmed it up to about 165 degrees, but it did cool down between us getting out, getting all the cameras set up, and now. So oil temperature had come down a little bit, but we see it slowly coming up. I'm guessing whatever little bit of oil is left in that sump is probably a whole, whole lot hotter than 101 degrees right now. And this is full power, guys, all right? That's everything she's got. Now, obviously our RPM's a little bit low here, 2200 RPM, 2250 at most. And that's because we're just sitting here stationary. If we were in flight with full power, we'd probably be seeing somewhere around 26, 2700 RPM. So the engine is making full power here, but we're just not seeing all of it here. We're not seeing the full RPM because of course we're stationary. Our static RPM, this is called our static RPM, and static RPM is a little bit lower than the RPM we see in flight. Now what's interesting is the bucket of oil out there is actually starting to smoke quite quite substantially, meaning the last little bit of oil that's coming out of here, a lot, lot hotter than 108. I've never seen oil smoking. It's actually coming out of this vinyl tube here, just really starting to smoke. Now some RPM falling off here, 2,100 RPM. It's come down from about 2,200. Still set to full power, still set full ridge. Might try leaning her out here a little bit, make a little more heat, just like we might be in flight leaned out just ever so slightly. 
don't want to foul those spark plugs when we're trying to destroy an engine here, guys, right? I mean, we would hate to foul the plugs right now. So we can see oil temp 111 totally inaccurate from what it actually is because that bucket of oil is smoking and that bucket of oil doesn't have a heat source next to it. It is just the oil coming out of that vinyl tube. It is super, super hot. The last little bits of oil being spewed out of this motor. And there we are, 2000, 1900. All right, here it is. It's starting to run really rough. We might potentially throw a rod. Okay, there it is, 18, 17. Now we've got an engine failure, 1500. That's it, guys. This is gonna be the end of it. Still 1500 RPM, still producing some thrust. Let's get her full rich. Let's give her everything she's got here. All right, 1300. 1350, hang in there, buddy. Come on, you can do it. No oil pressure, zero. Oil temperature, 114, that's a total lie. We got a bucket of smoking oil there. This motor is not running so hot, but giving her everything she's got. And uh, yeah, pretty stable there at 1500. Something's happened because we've lost a lot of RPM, so we might have possibly stuck a valve at this point. May not have even really started to seize the engine, but we might have stuck a valve or something. The vibration's not quite as noticeable as sticking a valve. We'll talk more about sticking a valve here in a sec, what that might mean for us. We see about 1350, 1300, still producing some amount of power. This is still better than just gliding, all right, like a stone, okay? This is definitely some amount of power is being produced here, 1300 RPM, when we're not moving through the air at all, is obviously some amount of power, probably a little over 100 pounds of thrust. Keep in mind that this airplane makes about 400 pounds of thrust at most ever. Uh, so still over 25% power is what you have available to you right now if you were in flight. This is uh, shaking pretty good though. Really shaking here down to 1200 RPM. We're just gonna let this guy run all the way in. We got full power set. Coming back to 1300. Actually gaining a little RPM there, 1350. Oh, it's starting to get better. 1,500, almost. Something's making a little more power now. Oh, and here we are, we're coming back. We're coming back, we've got, wow, what do you know? If we weren't gonna make the airport here, guys, maybe now we're gonna, it's all gonna be all right. We just got a little burst of power there, almost up to 1,800 RPM, and now it's coming back on us, starting to fail again. Still got good fuel pressure. I sure hope we don't run out of fuel before we burn up this engine. I did not count on the engine running for, you know, better part of seven minutes after losing oil pressure. But that's what it seems to be doing. Let's try to lean it out. Maybe we gave it a little too much fuel there. Come on, make some power. There we are, there we are, making power. There we are, make it to the airport. Come on, we're gonna make it, guys. We're gonna make it, oh my gosh, we're gonna make it. It likes being a little bit leaner there. Back up to 1900 RPM. Almost back up. I mean, that's over 75% power is what we're getting out of it now. Over 75% thrust. So if you guys take absolutely nothing else away from this video, at least remember this. Whatever you do, don't freak out. There's a couple different things here. A, our engine's running for a very long time, all right? It's actually making enough power to not only maintain level flight, we could actually climb a little bit with the power that we were making. And we had several minutes of full power after losing oil pressure with nothing acting weird at all in the engine, all right? Now, not to say this is going to happen to you, you could have a different experience and your engine could fail a little bit quicker than this, but stay calm, that is the biggest thing here. You've got time, think, point your nose towards a good place to land, whether that's an airport or a good safe open area. Do not freak out and remember that Engines are a little finicky, especially when they're running without oil, so it may take some different things here. You'll see how we're playing with the mixture to get the best power out of the engine. We're possibly turning the fuel pump on and off, playing with the throttle a little bit. Maybe full throttle is actually not gonna give you best power. Maybe reducing the throttle, closing the throttle plate a little bit helps. Keep an eye out for all those little fine details we do to get the most power out of this engine and make it last as long as possible to get us to somewhere where we would want to land rather than have to land. All right, this might be it, guys. We're losing here. We're losing a little bit of RPM. Coming off 1,800 down to 1,700 RPM. Starting to shake pretty good. Try playing with the mixture and see if we can get any more power out of her. Oh, nope, it didn't like that. Let's go ahead and lean it out a little bit. There, she's coming back for us. 1,500. For some reason, it likes being a little bit leaner here. Yeah, I think this might finally be it. Oh, there's a thousand. So we're just down to idle. We got full power set here still. Normal mixture setting. I don't know what else to do. Fuel pump on, guys. 
and we're down to probably about 30 pounds of thrust is all we're getting now this thing 40 pounds of thrust down here around the 7 800 rpm range 138 degrees 700 rpm it feels like something's ready to snag and break in here really feels like something wants to break running pretty rough come on all right there it's kind of death throws let's try reducing the throttle a little bit see if that helps any that actually picks it up a little bit yeah oh there it is you know what it likes less power it likes the throttle a little further closed because that's just too much air for it to breathe at such low rpm so as you start losing that rpm in flight it's really coming back on you maybe reducing the throttle actually gives you more power there try to feed in the throttle a little bit and that helps let's see if we can catch we can catch and go a little higher oh no that's trying to shut her down throttle back to where it was come on oh oh that that's really really rough wow really rough okay yep this would be really scary and come on come on a little bit more give me some more there It's still running. It doesn't like to run full throttle. That really makes it want to shut off. Oh, come on, catch. It likes a little, little bit less, maybe half throttle. It's giving me about 1200 RPM, but shaking like crazy. Really shaking. Obviously in flight, I think I probably would have voluntarily shut it down by now because I'd be afraid of something really going wrong. Wow, it's shaking. Come on, come on. Oh, it feels like one cylinder is running. Oh, and we're coming back. We're we're coming back here, guys. And we're coming back. A little bit of throttle out actually helped. Bringing that throttle out. Now try to slowly advance that throttle, get a little more power. Oh, it's really, really finicky. Oh, oh, that's all she's got. Let's see what the temps are. Okay, so that is it. That is, uh, yeah, almost 20 minutes of this thing running from the time it lost oil pressure. So by the time all the oil was out of the engine, almost 20 minutes until this engine actually stopped making any power. Now it produced almost full power for several minutes and then uh, really started giving us some problems. So I wanna go ahead, moment of truth, turn this prop through by hand here. It's a little stiff as you can imagine, but I wanna check all four cylinders. There's one, two, three, no compression really, just friction. And, oh, that, that's number four. Okay, there we go. Four, all four cylinders. It, it's as good as new, guys. It's a freshly overhauled engine. It's a little tight, needs to be broken in. No worries. Um, I got a feeling this thing's gonna run again uh, with not much effort, actually. But uh, you guys will find out on flyatmikealpha.com because we're gonna post that video up on the website at Fly at Mike Alpha, whether or not this thing ever does run again. We're just gonna let it cool down a bit. We were seeing engine temperatures, uh, cylinder head temps over 500 degrees when we were really measuring it properly, getting in there, over 500 degrees on the cylinder head temps. Uh, oil temps, <laughs> well in excess of 200, obviously not a really good way to measure it effectively, but oil temps well in excess of 200. Ultimately, I don't think I'm gonna lose as much sleep at night anymore over uh, all those students I flew with. And of course, we always talk about what happens if you lose oil pressure. And I was told them, well, you gotta find a place to land real soon, but I guess I'm not too worried because it seems like they're gonna have a lot of time to find a place to land. If this happens to you somewhere in Florida, well, I can't say it's gonna be this, this positive of an outcome, right? All right, so if this happens in flight, I don't know, it could seize the engine. You could have a total engine failure within seconds, but it took us 20 minutes. I'm guessing most other O320s are gonna be similar right 30 seconds a minute couple minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes even but uh yeah took us about 20 minutes all of our oil is right here this is about seven quarts of oil sitting here in this five gallon bucket here and uh yeah it's uh it's toasty it's it's pretty toasty really other fascinating things we learned i didn't see it from inside the cockpit but uh cameraman saw it and uh this happened what you said about 10 minutes Something just spat out of the exhaust. That's right. Uh, so yeah, somewhere 10 minutes into this whole deal, uh, something spit out of the exhaust and kind of burned the pavement. So that is it. That is really what's left of our engine. But you know, we're gonna let it cool down, pour a little water on it, see if uh, 
Just uh, steam clean it a little bit. Steam cleaning uh, does wonders for engines, you know. Uh, not really, don't actually do that on your own engine. But uh, we're gonna let this girl cool down a little bit, try to fire her back up here. My guess is, I think, it, I think it's gonna go pretty well, but if you really wanna find out what it takes to get this thing running again, well, check it out on flyatmikehealth.com. Lots more videos like this on flyatmikehealth.com. An entire series of what is inside of an airplane slash let's destroy an airplane video series, right? So obviously everyone out there wants to know exactly how long their engine is going to last when they lose oil pressure. Go ahead and share this video around. Not saying that this is how long yours is gonna last. Hopefully it lasts this long if it ever happens to you. Hopefully it never happens to you in the first place. And uh, yeah, not a whole heck of a lot of time there when you actually open up that valve. If you had an oil line sever in flight, what would you say about 20 seconds or so until you are, well, really out of oil pressure and you're on the road to this destruction. So share it around, guys. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Make sure you follow the playlist of all the other What is Inside of an Airplane slash Let's Destroy an Airplane video series. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Man, this thing is still really hot. Let's see, uh, now that we, you know, all you have to do is just add water, guys. So if you just add water, does that make it any easier to turn? It actually kind of does. It, it does, definitely helps. Oh, yeah, we found we, that spot. Oh, there we go. Wish I just weighed a little bit more. Come on. All right. Well, probably a few more minutes cooling down before we try to fire it back up.